Okay. So so Dana White said that that uh, if you put John Jones in a room with anybody else, so so that's that's why I said Dana White got that part wrong, the pound for pound part. But what he got right was he said if you put anybody in the room with John Jones, John Jones walks out. So that's not pound for pound, as far as I understand it. That that just means he's the baddest mf'er on the planet. That doesn't mean it, 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 pound for pound he's the best. Um, and and there was another example that Dana gave. He said, "Well, you know, Dana or uh, uh, John Jones had a three year layoff and moved up to heavyweight and beat the top guy, whereas Islam Makachev." beat a guy who was a, a weight class lower than him so therefore look at that you know what do you think of that and and I, as far as i'm concerned that's not the definition of pound for pound either it's it's what i was saying before was you got a 155er and just just with with what they have their skill set and how dominant they are how dominant they are in, in in their division and their and their skills how how great are their are their skills greater than john jones's skills you know is islam makachev's are is his skill set better in relation to the i guess the fighters that he's fought um you know is his skill set better than john jones's and and he also said John Jones never lost a fight. That's not exactly true. Oh, he Ted. Ted. He, 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 well, he's got an official loss because he because he gave a ten to six elbow to Luke Skywalker, Matt Hamill. Right, <laughs> right. And I would say that he lost the first fight against Alexander Gustafson. Ooh, Ma- amazing fight for anybody out there that's never right. seen. You want to see? You want to see a classic fight? You want to see a you, tremendous? Amazing fight. What a champion Gustafson, should have to go through to call himself a champion. Gustafson took it to him on the feet, turned his face into hamburger. John Ooh. Jones and 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 was the is probably the only guy to date to ever take John John, John Jones down repeatedly in a fight. That shit was wild. Wild. Right. Repeatedly took him down at least two, probably three times. Not in the, the fight. second and, fight, and though. Know, John Jones the, came the, back in the second fight, but yeah, that we, fight. We know that we know the takedowns. You know, a lot of times you don't think that they count for a lot, and then, gosh darn it, they do count for a lot. You know what I mean? It's like you can you can save a round by getting a takedown, and then not doing shit with it. It seems in the judges' eyes. So I don't know. I, unofficially, I. I you know what about the longevity though you don't think that has anything to do with with the pound for pound i mean he was gone for 3 years comes back destroys game oh oh that's i mean that that is that's absolutely you know, uh you know athletic ability so that... how do you define a fighter like john jones if he's not pound for pound if he's not greatest of all like where would he fall because there's no one that really matches like that well, that's a flawless career, you know, 19 well, let, let years me, youngest me, champion still doing it. Well, let, let me let me throw this in there, Eddie. What about all of the uh the doping? What what about what about the the steroids? You know, you, we talk, we we were talking about how, you know, 303 is we're going to have a different main event uh because of Connor's injury. Yeah. But uh John Jones was supposed to be on UFC 200. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. right, mm-hmm. right. It was it was Jones against DC Cormier, Cormier right? Yeah, Picogram. and and then and then he got busted for steroids, the and he did the old. I didn't know it. I didn't know it. You know, and and they they had two samples, and they tested one, and it was it was positive, and they tested the second one, and it was and it was positive it's, as well. It's all that horse meat these fighters eat, you know? Yeah, horse <laughs> overeem. <laughs> yeah, freaking overeem and his and his horse meat. Um. Yeah, so well, Ted. Let me ask you this though. So, 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 did the, but uh, let me ask you. Okay, okay. Oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> no, did, did, but do the steroids? Does that get? Does that put an asterisk next to his name, just like Barry Bonds, Sammy Sosa, and Mark McGuire in Major League Baseball? 
those guys are probably never going to get into the Hall of Fame because they juiced when they were when they were you know hitting home runs that like was so crazy. Exciting. Remember that? Remember the, yeah. watching? You know, Sammy so was, that was that was so exciting. Uh, Ted, check this out. Matter of fact, 1961 was the year. Ted, 1961. Roger Maris, the man right there, Mickey Mantle. Mickey Mantle, yeah. One of the greatest stories ever, trying to beat Babe Ruth's record. Up until Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa with the steroids. Now look at look at Roger Maris. There's no steroids there, you know. Right, so I think right. I think you make a, a really good point. My argument, though, Ted, there's a lot of guys out there that you know don't produce a lot of testosterone. So they're going in against other fighters that have a certain level of testosterone. Why shouldn't a fighter who has low testosterone be able to take TRT to get to a normal Uh, level? I mean, is that not fair? What what do you think about that argument? Well, it was my understanding, you know, back when, when, before USADA got, before the UFC hired USADA, uh, you could, you could, you could get a, um, an exemption from from your doctor but what my understanding was what was happening was that fighters would get on steroids right now steroids naturally uh bring down they they prevent the body from producing testosterone naturally so so you so you 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 come to your body comes to depend on the steroids to for, for your testosterone. Well, it's like an opiate addiction in a way. Okay. Your so body's one, not so, now so, creating. So they, would get on the, they would get on the steroids, right? And you, and your natural testosterone drops and you, and then your estrogen level elevates. So that's why you get the, the bitch tits. <laughs> yeah. You get the bitch tits. So the gyne- gynecomastia is the, is the, te- you know, the medical term. But so, so they would get off the steroids and then go to their doctor and say, Hey, Doc, I got low T. What can you do for me? Oh, I'm going to put you on TRT, son. You know, and so so then they'd say, well, my doctor prescribed it, so I'm okay. That That's a, they game the system. A, a lot of fighters. I, I don't know about all of them. But, I mean, if you, if you have a, I mean, generally speaking, you know, a fighter in their prime, you know, in, the, in their uh, mid-20s to... Oh, even their their early thirties or whatever. Their their T levels should be high. If not, then then the, the, there's something else going on. Um, so they they you know they should they should naturally have high testosterone. You know, just because of, because of things like working out that boosts you know um, boosts your testosterone. Uh, you you can take other um, over the counter vitamins. Uh, supplements that that are but legal. But it's also dangerous because a lot of remember back in the day they would mix these things from GMC in big barrels, Ted, where they would also be mixing other steroids in. So little pieces of other steroids get mixed into that, you know. So it, it's mm. it's a dirty thing. I just feel like, you know, if you are to take something, if your levels low. I think that that would be a fair case. Um, and you're looking at fighters now. Look at Jose Aldo. He looks insane. Lee ripped for his age <laughs> right now. Uh, last night, what was his name? Um, da Silva. Dude's like 40, 41 years old, and he looks absolutely jacked all of a sudden. Um, mm-hmm. Do you think these fighters now without Us- USADA, do you think – Oh, like, do you know of any anything that changed? Like, now that USADA's gone, are they allowed? Well, there's to? another. They have another group that, that the UFC has another group that they're using, right? Or is it is it more in house? I'm not. Sh- I'm not too sure. Okay, they're definitely being I, tested, but then right. we're seeing photos of you know the bitch tits and stuff like that. Like, I feel like fighters recently without USADA, I feel like there's definitely more leniency. They're not looking for mm. picograms and and stuff, so. Um, mm. But your argument here was John Jones pound for pound, uh, the the steroids tainting, right? So he can't be considered yeah. the greatest of all time, but he's also not your pound for pound. So Dana's argument, John Jones pound for pound, Islam who who is your pound for pound, Ted? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't like the pound for pound thing. I don't like it at all. 
because you, it it it, ha, it's it has sci-fi. to do with uh, <laughs> imagining. Mm. It has to do with your imagination. It has to do with Imagine. uh speculation. Mm. Yeah. If, you know, it, all things being equal, who's the better fighter? Well, things aren't equal. Things aren't equal. Islam Makachev is a little guy. He's 155. John Jones is a heavyweight. Well, so things aren't equal. So isn't we can it we can more impressive for a guy to go up in weight and destroy a heavyweight in seconds rather than, you know, Islam yeah. moving down a weight class and beating a champ like which one's more yeah. impressive? No, I mean, oh, oh, clearly, yeah, the John Jones thing is 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 more impressive, yeah, for sure, yeah. Um, no, I mean, you, you can't deny that. I, I, I don't know. It's uh, tough. I, I don't. I show um, me Francis Ngannou at one fifty five, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> <laughs> That's just it. See, we can't. That's why we have weight classes. That's why we have weight classes because we know things are different. Hmm. You know. I mean, we 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 saw what what happened uh, that you know in the early days of the UFC when you when you could have um, a little guy versus a big guy, and okay, yeah, Hoist Gracie did did great because nobody knew what the hell he was doing. Yeah, you know, they had no idea how to how to defend any of that shit. Um, but generally speaking, you know, the. Um, well, it's like it's like the uh, the old saying about uh, a fast big guy is going to beat a fast small guy. A fast, a fast, a fast like like a a big a big man who is agile, you know, who who has uh, agility and balance and, oh, and all gonna that. Oh, he's going to beat a fast small. I, okay. He's going to beat a fast small guy. Of course. I mean, mm-hmm. if you you have a fast small guy and a lumbering you know, uh, uncoordinated big guy. And yeah, the small guy might, might do all right. But, but you know, if you, if you have a big guy who's just as fast as the little guy, the big guy is going to win more, more times than not. No weight classes back in the day. That was another big argument. Seeing all these big fighters, little fighters. Um, you're right, Ted. It's, it's an argument that it's just all fantasy, but, I right. do agree it's with Dana White. And, and I don't I don't like that. I, I personally don't like that. I don't like fantasy football or fantasy anything sports. <laughs> I think that's kind of weird and I don't know. But um Yeah, so I don't I don't like the whole pound for pound thing. And I, you, I don't, you know. don't like I just, the greatest of all time either. So Greatest of all time? I mean I, I think I I don't know. I mean I think you can make arguments for for different people. You know, you know what I mean? You you can. Who is the fighter to you that is just unstoppable? I mean, and it, it is confusing because in the well, prime, you know what I mean? Like you can't have fate or well, now, I mean, like, but John you, Jones, you could, nineteen. Yeah, right. You could see that's that's why that's that's why there it's, there needs to be. That's why I think you, you the probably the best way to do it would be to have Mount Rushmores of of different eras of of MMA. You know.